Food. Drama. Verdict. Your favorite restaurants, chefs, and cookshops from across Jamaica summoned to go head to head, pot to pot, meal to meal. This is the Maggie Food Court. Two heroines of Hero Circle who happen to be aunt and niece go to battle to see whose pot will be knocked off the fire and which crab will remain in the barrel. Stay tuned for the exciting matchup in case file Crab in a Barrel. This week's jury members are Wannabe chef and aspiring husband Garfine Grandison Food lover Antoinette Peart Chef Theo Smith, catering executive and owner of Great House Caterers Limited. Attention contestants, Maggie Food Court is now in session. Case file, crab in a barrel. Residing over by the highest food court judge, Dufton Duffy Shepherd. Greetings, Maggie Food Court. How are you doing? Fine. How are you? I'm good. I like it. Baby first day, taste today. Ah, crab in a barrel. <laughs> what a mix up and passa passa. Nice. Crab in a barrel, so we're dealing with crabs today. Crab, 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 crab. Hero circle. Great hero circle. The great, you too? Hero circle. What is a link up? Cousin. Real life cousin. Miss Cousin. So apart from crab in a barrel, this is family business though? Family in a barrel. Family in a barrel. <laughs> but tell me, Munchi, why are you here in front of the Maggie food court, in front of Judge Duffy? To prepare a dish that we love to do and to win, of course. So you plan for win? Yeah. You're going to share the winnings with? So what if she win, we share it with me, we don't share it. So we are a real life family. Then the tone of us up on one side. Let's take a look at Chef Makisha Munchi Walker's file. Well, I am Munchi. I love cooking because it's something that I like to do. It's a hobby. My family is like huge. We come from a way line of cooking. So it's just a thing that we grew up doing and loving to do. It's just cooking. Thank you, Munchi. One of the best crab in town. You can always come in here a circle and ask for Munchi, the best. You're Munchi? Uh-huh. You're here by someone to attend the Maggie Food Court. <laughs> oh my God. So we are going prisoner and we are going to court. People, my name is Munchi and I just got summoned to the Maggie Food Court and I'll see you there. Never win. <laughs> and that's how family goes. Is this how family works anytime? So you yeah, will live good. And and you're here because of the same thing? Yeah. So you're going to compete against her, but if you win, you're going to share yeah, your sure. winnings with her? Yeah, man, share Let's mine. take a look at Chef K. Francis Stewart's file. I'm cooking over my charity here now, and I'm cooking Maggie. Everything I use is pure Maggie. If I go to the shop and I'm going have Maggie, I go to the next shop. Uh, my favorite thing is to cook like rice and peas and chicken with Maggie season. Maggie all-purpose in the crab. You guys are gonna get some time to prepare your favorite dish, crab. You have a special way to do it? Well, yeah. And you have a special way to do it? All right, about how long you think you would need to prepare it? An hour. About an hour. Where are you? Basically. About an hour. Well, since it's an hour, you say and you say, you know, family, I'm gonna give you an hour. No, better yet, I'm going to give you 60 minutes. Let us see how we work that out. All right? But we don't need ingredients. Mm -hmm. For cook the crab. To cook the crab. To cook the crab. The crab. So I'm going to give you guys 10 minutes to go over to the Maggie store and get the ingredients. 10 minutes alone, so we don't have to hurry. You ready? I'm not going to take 10 minutes as I go and pick up my things and run, come back. On your mark, get set, go! Good as all day. Our Maggie Food Court contestants have 10 minutes to shop for Nestle products at the Nestle store. 
You too can shop for Nestle products at FamilyNest.BigShop.com and get attractive savings and free delivery on orders over $3,000. On the back from shopping. Mm -hmm. All right, kid. What did you get? Tell me what you got. I get Maggie All Purpose and two coconut milk and the curry. Maggie All Purpose. Yeah. Coconut milk. In Maggie. And two pack of curry. Mm -hmm. This will be enough? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, it's one dozen crab. Well, I have Maggie milk, coconut milk, all purpose, and curry. Munchie. Hmm? Yellow fella. Yeah. I see him too. You pick up your pick up here. I mean, first pick it up. Are you but we are, we are work together, see him. We are work together, see him. Yeah. We are yeah. rival, no, but we are work together. We are rival, but we are work together. Well, all right. Well, me, I go mash up the Dali horse now. You can't cook? Mm hmm. You can't cook? I try. <laughs> but I'm to test your skills right now. I need for you to prepare a quick meal in a 15 minutes. Quick meal in a 15 minutes. Using some things from Best Dress Products. 15 minutes to prepare anything you want to prepare using those items over there. On your marks, get set, go. Let me see what I go. Mm -hmm. When I'm home, I have to do quick meals all the time. When I get up in the morning, I have to do a quick, quick meal that we have to leave because they have to go to school and have to go to work. I say I'm cooking the butter for put pan. Well, I have kids. They like like the tenders and fries and nuggets and stuff like that. So it was much easier to make the tender, the franks. I look for the butter and I cook in butter and I have said, go no way. Okay, what, what did you prepare? Tell me what you prepared. Tatches and lettuce. Go, go to the butter. Um, not lettuce, salad. Mm -hmm. And chew a little. So you thought it's soft, you can't And chew a little pepper on it. Mm -hmm. The easiest way I go. Easiest way? Yes. Something quick and fast? Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. So if, if, if you drop down, you couldn't drop down because you get something fast. Quick and fast. Yeah. <laughs> Show me what you prepared. Chicken tender and francs with a little lettuce on the side. Mm -hmm. Things you know kids would love. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, chew me have to cook it mm -hmm. and do it like this. For my kids then, can't do the fast one for them drop down. Maggie Food Court resumes after the break. Slicing, cutting, chopping, mashing. Who have time for all of that when we have Maggie? It's the quickest way of a squeeze flavor in a every ounce of food. When you're on a tight budget, but everything still has a taste rich. Work magic in the kitchen with Maggie coconut milk powder and jerk seasonings because there's a Maggie seasoning to make every meal taste better. Then suppose me did have a whip on seasoning for salt, my love. That's why I'm a Maggie girl. Maggie the flavor magician. This is K. This is the girl, Munchin. Eo Circle is the best place to come and buy the crab. We make the best cow skin and chicken foot soup. Hot and spicy crab, you see? Live and direct. So you can come on here and you get the crab and the corn and the soup tastes very nice. The yes, it's original. If you want to come on Eo Circle, you get the crab and corn from K. Bye.
We all lead busy lives. We spend so much time in traffic or on a bus. But with all these distractions, there is an opportunity to make our time together something to get dressed for. Making time to share the goodness, share a milestone, share a meal. Sharing your life's most important experiences is a meal together away. The best dressed chicken. Make life delicious. A Maggie Food Court continues. All right. Munchi and K. Ready for the main course now? Ready for the main event? Yeah, yeah. ready and waiting. And it's still a family? Still a family, I care about our name blood. Yeah? Munchi, where are you name? Makisha. Makisha what? Walker. Makisha Walker. Okay, what are you name? Precious. Precious memory. <laughs> oh boy. This court is too bad. Big up. Big up yourself. <laughs> All right. So you guys are going to have one hour to prepare your crab dishes and also to make a juice to go along with it. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Put on the gloves, put on the gloves, put on the gloves. Put on your gloves, get your cells ready. Get your cells ready. Oh. Bailey, could you set them off please? After three, one, two, three. How I prep the crab is, first we have to wash them to get them clean and then put them in the water to cook with like skelling and thyme and pepper. After that, we take them out, break them up, season them, put the curry on the fire to burn, throw it in there and leave it there to cook. Well, how I prepare my crab? Put it in the pan when I come with it, wash it. When I wash it, I throw the water in the big pot and put in my scale and thyme, seasoned salt, garlic, and my girl pearl. Just put it in the pot, the crab them in the pot and just cover it. I just stay around well. Hey, actually got all of her crabs out already. So whatever they were soaking them in and stuff, she took mm -hmm. out whatever she needed mm -hmm. to take out. So she started on her seasoning. Oh, and she's actually doing it right yeah. as well. But based on the ingredients, it looks like cape probably and garlic. And Munchi was doing something maybe with the curry. Oh, both, the of curry, curry. Right both of them have curry. Both of them have curry. Both of them have curry, both of them have liquid coconut milk. I'm going to go in and pick up the same thing. Pretty much. I burned the curry because growing up, my dad used to tell us that if you burn the curry while cooking it, it won't hurt your belly. And it's the best way to prepare curry, by burning it. My mother, I'm saying, the monks were mother, if I was small, and I forgot to catch the water, come and chew another jump. I would watch how she season up the pot then. That's how we learn to season up the pot. Contestants, you have 30 minutes remaining. 30 minutes. Mm hmm. Munchi and K hack them. Don't man. Put a boil up on him. I'm going to invite my chef. I keep come help you out. Chef Smith, over here we have K, and over here we have Munchi. Be careful, approach with caution, Chef. Approach with caution. <laughs> Munchi, how are you doing? Not so bad. So, so what are you doing today? I'm making curry crab with vegetable rice. I see peeling mango. What's, what's the plan for that? Mango and pine juice. All right. Looking forward to it. You feel confident? Yep. All right. So, Munchi, your coffee chefs are nice and me, are All is well? Yeah. To me like right, What's your plan for today? Um, coral crab, mm -hmm. Irish potato, mm -hmm. and yam. Yeah. All right. Nice, nice. You're confident you're winning. Yeah? Any special reason for the confidence today? Right. If I don't win, 
I'm glad for my cousin get it. Ah, all right. I said the love is the love is going around. <laughs> Chef, man, man, I understand what I'm treat you so nice. Jip, the one jip me up. And when you come in your red shirt, they're like, <laughs> 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 yes, I'm confident. I never use them. <laughs> but mango pine juice. Leave her on our mango pine juice, you know. Oh, you like mango pine? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Let's see what I go as yeah. We'll see. I'll get you out of the kitchen, out of the quick kitchen. Right? <laughs> mm. Munchy. I don't mean know. I'm going to say it, but it, <laughs> you like me. I'm not. Well, in cooking, it's not about the rush. You have to take your time to prepare what you're doing and to make sure that everything goes the way that you want it to go or else it's a no-no. Yeah, my mama said the pan the, the stove, you know. I'ma put pork up and put it on. But the, the judge will let me get time. My mama said no, it have to. And I like the cold stove, you know, that cook faster. My mama said the electrical stove. I'm gonna have a fault with that, you know. Contestants, you have 15 minutes remaining. 15 minutes. Contestants, time is up. Plate your meals, clean your ears, and await the return of the judge. Stick around to hear the verdict on Maggie Food Court. Slicing, cutting, chopping, mashing. Who have time for all of that when we have Maggie? It's the quickest way of a squeeze flavor in a every ounce of food. When you're on a tight budget, but everything still has a taste rich. Work magic in the kitchen with Maggie coconut milk powder and jerk seasonings because there's a Maggie seasoning to make every meal taste better. Uh, then suppose me did have a whip on seasoning for soap, my love. That's why I'm a Maggie girl. Maggie the flavor magician! This is Kate. This is your girl, Munchi. Your circle is the best place to come and buy the crab. We make the best cow skin and chicken foot soup. Hot and spicy crab, you see? Live and direct. So you can come out here and you get the crab and the corn and the soup tastes very nice. So when you come at Hero Circle people, just come and check Munchi for the best thing ever. We cook everything right here, right and spot and ready for the customer. All right.
slicing, cutting, chopping, mashing. Who have time for all of that when we have Maggi? It's the quickest way to squeeze flavor in a every ounce of food. When you're on a tight budget, but everything still have a taste rich. Work magic in the kitchen with Maggi coconut milk powder and jerk seasonings because there's a Maggi seasoning to make every meal taste better. Uh-huh. Then suppose me did have a whip on seasoning for soap, my love. That's why I'm a Maggi girl. All right, so I'm going to show you how to find the chicken tenderloin at the back end of the breast quarter. You have a tendon here that you want to get cut, and then you just run the knife to separate the tenderloin from the rest of the breast. This is perfect to use in a pasta dish or as a snack at a later date. A Maggie food court continues. I some extra time, you want big, don't munch it. Beg the extra time, Munchie. Ask the court nicely to allow you for some extra time. I must ask the judge. No, talk to the bailiff. Talk to the bailiff. Bailiff, talk can I nice have some up. extra time, please? Talk to him nice. Bailiff, can I have some time, please? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, the bailiff smile. All right. All right, Munchie. All right, Munchie. All right. I'll go give you guys some extra time. I give you five minutes extra. Plate of dishes. <laughs> Get the juices ready for. What's interesting, and what I want to ask um, in terms of the expectations of this. Um, Again, based on based on what they do, plated. It's gonna be interesting to see how that is so plated. I hear crab, and I automatically don't even think that much. Not that I don't expect presentation, but yeah. I'm not expecting the gourmet presentation. And and no matter who is doing it, like well, maybe it varies on who is doing it, True. maybe. But I I just think crab, and I think not the prettiest presentation. But I'm thinking soul food comfort. Because from the vegetable, you know, we just cut up the, the cucumber and the salad. Yeah. Finishing touches, Munchie. Mm-hmm. Finishing touches? Yep. So if I count to 20, you'll be finished? Less. Mm. Kia, you're, you're ready. Kia, look in Kay's face. Time to be Kay, ready. So, what kind of juice is this? Pine and ginger. Pine and ginger. Pine and ginger. Eh, eh. And what kind of juice you make, Munchie? Mango and pine. Mango and pine. So we are having um, curry crab with vegetable rice along with mango and pine juice. So for me, I'm loving the crab flavor coming out. But crab flavor, as I said, you know, I want to taste the crab. That is it. That is it. For me, this was pretty good as well. Right. Um, as Chef said, the crab, the crab flavor is coming out. And um, we were having a debate before saying, you know, when people normally eat crab, like for me personally, I eat crab alone. There's never normal accompaniment for me. So it was interesting. For me, it was going to be very interesting how it would Pair well, <coughs> but I actually do like the, 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 the vegetable rice with it. It's very, very, very nice. I enjoy it. And the juice, first class. So, my only comment to that is if I go have the rice, I want some gravy. That, that's the only thing. I don't want some gravy to have with the rice, but I'm loving the crab flavor. So, I can't complain too much about the gravy because I'm enjoying the crab. Thank you, I was taught by the best. Ah. Hi, Kay. How are you doing, Kay? How are you? 
You can tell us a little bit about your dish, how you prepare it, what we can expect. All right. Um, the curry crab. Mm -hmm. I'll put the maggie seeds in there. Mm -hmm. I'll put the, the garlic in there. Mm -hmm. And this, this um, thyme in there. Okay. Um, pepper. Yeah. If, if pepper is not in it, it's not going to taste good. You know? Okay. You have to put the pepper in there. Okay. I'm going to burn the curry. Okay, I'm a, we smell that. Yeah, we'll burn the curry. I'm going to put some of the curry in the, when I season it up. Mm -hmm. And I'll throw everything in the pot and go and stir it, stir it, stir it. Okay, okay. so when so when we should eat this, what, what's the one spice that should um, tickle? The maggie all purpose. All purpose? Yeah. I like how you said that with confidence, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll go um, dig in and see now how, how, how the flavour is. Hmm. I like you cracked the crab. Thank you very much. This is good, Kate. Okay. As you, you said, the pepper, the pepper, mm -hmm. it's kicking. That's, that's, that's really nice and I taste, I still taste a little bit of the garlic. But what is coming through to me, coming out at me though, is that that, um, that curry flavour. And I think that's because they probably, how you season it, the burn and then you mix, mix some on top of it. So the authentic curry is coming in. All in all, um, very good. I like it. What I found surprising with the pineapple juice as it was sweetness, that it's not really sweet and it works perfectly with the pepper from the curry. Yeah, and I must say the curry perfectly burnt. Thank you very and much. And just has a nice, strong curry Thank flavor. you very much. Thank you. Two defendants, one verdict. Family, I'm going to mash up here now. But still, Which come up out of the barrel? Oh, how was the experience? How was it? Well, nice. It's nice and joke you fire and nice. Well, I don't nice and a gilly could joke and a laugh. So I can't act play, don't. <laughs> Monchi, what about you? How was it? It was a bit nerve wracking, mm. but then we just start to, I should say, laugh around and we just feel like we're at home. Feel like you're at home? Yeah, so we just do a thing. But you're not at home, you're in the Maggie food court. Right. And you know there has to be one, one winner. winner. Are you ready to hear the verdict? Well, the official verdict, the winner of today is Chef Munchi. Yeah. Chef Munchi. I'm feeling excited. Know that I have won. Actually won something. <laughs> Next on Maggie Food Court. The defendants were given room to make their best plate, incorporating fish at the center. Sharkies of St. Anne versus something fishy from Maypen.